The General Data Protection Regulation, or abbreviated GDPR, is an EU regulation on data protection and privacy in the European Union, EU, and the European Economic Area, EEA. It also addresses the transfer of personal data outside the EU and European Economic Areas. Superseding the Data Protection Directive from October 1995, the regulation contains provisions and requirements related to the processing of personal data of individuals, formally called data subjects in the GDPR, who are located in the EEA, and applies to any enterprise regardless of its location in the data subject's citizenship or residence, that is processing the personal information of individuals inside the EEA. Or simplified, GDPR has a global reach. GDPR was adopted in April 2016 by the European Parliament and become effective from May 25, 2018. The new regulation has three main objectives. The first objective is to give people more control over how their personal data is used. To address issues and challenges of the Internet and cloud technology, GDPR tends to improve trust in the emerging digital economy. The second objective is to give businesses a simpler, clearer legal environment data protection law, identical throughout the single market. The third objective is to fight cyber criminality. A set of principles that ensure the rights of the data subject and the protection of their personal data are processed in a lawful and transparent manner are also implemented. This is ensured through supervision by independent supervisory authorities at the national level. The main principle of GDPR is informed consent for data processing. Informed consent is used as the lawful basis for processing. Consent must be explicit for the data collected and explain the purpose for which data is used for. Consent must be a specific, freely given, plainly worded, and unambiguous affirmation given by the data subject. Also, GDPR gives a specific right to the data subject, which are the right for information to the data subject in a concise, transparent, intelligible, and easily accessible form, using clear and plain language, in particular for any information addressed specifically to a child. The right of access gives the data subject the right to access their personal data and information about how this personal data is being processed. The right of rectification gives the right to the data subject to obtain from the controller, without undue delay, the rectification of inaccurate personal data. Taking into account the purposes of the processing, the data subject has the right to have incomplete personal data completed. The right of erasure, the right to be forgotten, provides that the data subject has the right to request the erasure of personal data related to them. The restriction of processing gives a data subject the right to have his or her personal data erased and no longer processed. Right to object allows the data subject to object to processing personal information for marketing, sales, or non-service related purposes. This means the data controller must allow a data subject the right to stop or prevent the controller from processing their personal data. The GDPR distinguishes terms the data controller and a data processor. The data controller determines the purposes for and how personal data is processed. So, the company or organization which decides why and how the personal data should be processed is the data controller. In the clinical trial environment, a data controller is a sponsor, however, it can also be a CRO, depending on a contractual obligation. The data processor, on the other hand, is the party that processes personal data only on behalf of the controller. The data processor is usually a third party external to the company. In the clinical trial environment, data processors are usually EDC vendors, data management vendors, etc. Numerous different combinations of the data controller and data processor relations are possible. For instance, a controller and processor can be one entity. Also controller and processors can be a separate entity. A processor can have a different sub-processor, etc. One of the news in GDPR is that data processors have direct obligations for the first time. These include an obligation to maintain a written record of processing activities carried out on behalf of each controller. Designated data protection officer where required, appoint a representative, when not established in the EU, 
in certain circumstances, and notify the controller on becoming aware of a personal data breach, without undue delay. Another crucial part of the GDPR, for clinical trials, is the concept of pseudonymization and anonymization. The GDPR defines pseudonymization as the processing of personal data in such a manner that the personal data can no longer be attributed to a specific data subject, without the use of additional information. Therefore, any pseudonymized data, that could still be attributed to a trial participant, using other information will be considered as a personal data. While data anonymization, has been defined as a process by which personal data, is irreversibly altered in such a way that a data subject, can no longer be identified directly or indirectly, either by the data controller alone, or in collaboration with any other party. But what is the personal data for GDPR? GDPR gives a broad definition regarding personal data. According to GDPR, personal data are any information that is related to an identified, or identifiable natural person. The data subjects are identifiable, if they can be directly or indirectly identified, especially by reference to an identifier, such as a name, an identification number, location data, an online identifier, or one of several special characteristics, which expresses the physical, physiological, genetic, mental, commercial, cultural or social identity of these natural persons. In practice, these also include all data which are or can be assigned to a person, in any kind of way. For example, the telephone, credit card, or personnel number of a person, account data, number plate, appearance, customer number, or address are all personal data. The most sensitive personal data, in the clinical trial environment is the personal data of study subjects. Since study subjects must be informed about the study, and they must sign an informed consent, it is advisable for clinical trial sponsors, to obtain informed consent for trial participation, and separate explicit consent to meet the requirements of the GDPR for the processing of special category data. Also, it is important to bear in mind, that study subject data, even if a study subject is identified only by a random number, is still pseudonymized data, not anonymized, which is considered to be personal data with regards to GDPR. In some circumstances it is very clear who the data controller, and who the data processor is. However, there are examples where GDPR requirements in clinical trials are still not clear. For instance, it is not clear what is the role of site monitor with regards to GDPR. Is the site monitor a data processor? If we know that data processing covers a wide range of operations performed on personal data, including by manual or automated means. It includes the collection, recording, organization, structuring, storage, adaptation or alteration, retrieval, consultation, use, disclosure by transmission, dissemination or otherwise making available, alignment or combination, restriction, erasure, or destruction of personal data. Also, what is the role of the investigator? Is the principal investigator, or the site, a data collector, and should he or she comply with the data collector responsibilities of GDPR? For the companies that participate in clinical research, the new regulations not only cover study subjects of clinical trials, but also employees, customers, subcontractors, investigators, and a site staff. Personal data of employees are usually covered with other local regulatory requirements, which should be followed. It is also advisable to collect and store a bare minimum of employees' personal data, only those that are necessary. Regarding storage of personal data, the GDPR states that personal data shall be kept in a form that permits identification of data subjects for no longer than the time necessary for the purposes for which such data was processed. So, even if you collect and use personal data fairly and lawfully, you cannot keep it for longer than you actually need it. This is only a brief description of GDPR requirements concerning clinical trials. GDPR is a broad and large regulation, which is also very difficult to follow. In this presentation, we did not go through details, for instance of data controller and data processor responsibilities, nor we talked about fines and penalties for GDPR noncompliance. However, hopefully, 
this presentation will give you a glimpse of what GDPR is, and a basic understanding, of this important law.